Being lonely is very hard and very bad for your health. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that, really. We all know that being lonely is terrible. During COVID and its lockdowns, for example, people were getting so lonely that their stress was going up, and all of the health problems that come with your stress going up were also going up, and it was, it was the whole thing. And so we, as humans, very much crave connection. And of course, as such, we have a few skills almost baked into us genetically, or at least in our brains, that help us find it. So, you can imagine how lonely it would get if you, uh, didn't, didn't have those skills, and that is the reality with those, with autism. For whatever reason, some of the social cues and other things that most people find natural, we just don't have? It's just not in here anywhere, and you have to learn them on your own, which gets very confusing. And so it can actually get very very lonely as we get older, because as studies have shown in non-autistic adults even, loneliness becomes more of an issue and more problematic if you are lonely as we get older. So, what are we going to do about it? Because there are many, many resources for those with autism, but none of them are really focused on this isolation problem. They're all focused on more day-to-day -day functioning. Some people would suggest that autistic people should just get out more and go to normal social experiences. But I can ta tell from personal experience that that tends to end with while everyone else is dancing with their friends, you're kind of wandering around in a circle in the corner, which is not exactly social interaction at all. So what I propose is yet another, and I'll admit there's already a lot of them, resources, resource, sorry, for those with autism. Specifically, social clubs where they can come together with other people that don't really get those signals and just have a nice time without those signals. It's still important for them to learn those signals, but even in a more social context, they can help each other learn them. And not being a hypocrite, I have done that before and plan on doing another, this is the ad for that actually, another one tomorrow. But of course I am one man who lives in a small town in Utah, and there's a lot more autistic people than the ones in Utah. <laughs> and so, that is why I'm calling upon you, especially you who have autism as well, to do more stuff like this. Thank you.